process for carving the seat starts with a little layout. About three quarters of an inch in from the rear, I'm going to define this area at the back. That's going to stay flat throughout the process, as well as this small area around the pommel. Both those areas will stay flat, giving me a nice clamping surface. These two holes have been drilled to 5 eighths of an inch deep. That's the depth of the bowl of the seat. And here is the perimeter of the initial part of the bowl that we're going to carve out. I'm foregoing the ads and going straight to the scorp with this because it's only 5 eighths of an inch deep. You'll notice that I skew the tool as I pull it cross grain. That really helps the cutting. And if it starts to tear out, all I have to do is skew the other direction. Here I'm just doing some little finish cleanup cuts with the in shape. You can still see the bottom of those two pin prick marks now that I've almost gotten to the bottom of. I don't want to go all the way because once they're gone, I don't know where I am. I remove those later with a more fine tool. I come in with the travisher and I'm just going to do some cleanup strokes here just to get this ball a little bit more uniform. And there's the finished ball. Next, I'm going to take the in-shave and remove some of the material where your legs are going to pass as you sit on the, on the piece. Once again, I'm pulling cross-grain and using that slight angle to help prevent any tear-out and to keep the cuts going easy. You'll notice that if the cuts get difficult or it starts to tear out, I simply change the angle that I'm pulling, but always cross-grain. Now that the in shape is done, I'm going to move on to the travisher and try and fare that surface a little bit better. The idea is to come up with one large shape through a series of smaller shapes that you're going to make and then to fare it all together. Now it's time to cut out at the front of the seat for the legs. I start with a 5 eighths of an inch markup from the bottom and then two marks that are going to show where the legs are going to pass along the front of the seat. And these two marks are just going to help me define a chamfer that I'm now going to cut out. I use a draw knife for this. It's a very special draw knife that hangs on my wall. I only use it for cutting pine. It always stays razor sharp. And in a single facet, notice I'm not creating a rounded facet there, but a single flat across its side facet. And then I'll go and do the other side. This gets rounded over later, but for now it needs to be flat. That'll help keep the shape beautiful. And you can see those facets now. And you can see that the angles are indeed flat faceted. I'll come back in with my in shave and take the top off of that because the leg needs to pass through there and that sharp arras won't help. When I start to get any tear out, all I have to do is switch the angle that I'm skewing. This is just to remove the mass of material from there. I'm going to come in in a moment with a spoke shave to really fair it out. A lot of the shaping can be adjusted once this tool is actually put together because it all takes place on the top, which is easily reached even when it's mounted onto the legs. But it's a good idea to get as far as you can while it's in this position. Once again, back with the travisher to fare all these different shapes together. And now the seat is nicely roughed out. This gives you an idea of the basic shape that we're going for. Now it's time to clean up the underside of the seat. And then we need one more line to help define the chamfer that's going to be on the underside. It's about three quarters of an inch in from the edge. And once again, I'll turn to my spoke shape, or my draw knife, I should say, to cut that chamfer in. I'll go back in later with the spoke shape and smooth it out, but first I rough it out with the draw knife. And you can see the flap that I left on the top and at the front and the back of the seat are really going to be helpful when I go to do this clamping. You don't want to carve it to a round and then try and clamp to it. You'll just crush the work. The draw knife makes quick work of this. 
Now the chamfer is nicely roughed in. I'll spoke shave that before I assemble the actual piece. But first, I need to address this area at the front, right below, below the pommel. And I do that with my spoke shave. I'm just going to flatten it out a bit and fare the curve from the chamfer all the way up to the heiress at the top of the seat. And here you can see the finished shape. It's roughed in, and later, of course, all the surfaces will get dressed.